We are back on Herschel then to continue the hunt for a melanistic European bison. And well, this time I decided to start shooting some red deer on a few different lakes. And here I spotted a max estimate right there. And that was a good shot, let's check him out. Ok, this guy is a 199. It could respawn bigger and hopefully it's a great one. Although that's very unlikely, we're just starting this grind, but we already got a diamond last time, so who knows. But we're gonna do a more proper grind after we get the melanistic bison because now that's the main goal. For now this great one grind is just a secondary goal, so we're just gonna kill a few stacks. Including these two big boys. 24 to 70, that's a monster. Okay. Both shots should have been good. 47.9, that's a baby. And here we got this level 7 which is a 213.8. Not bad at all, that's a pretty decent score to be 7. There's another heart right there. On this location. And there is a level 7 which is not even close to be as big as the last one, but it's still decent. And that's gonna be enough. 187.8. Enough for gold. There's a level 6 right there and there should be more but it's just too hard to see them. I mean I got two zones right there but they are always behind the bushes. So anyway I'm gonna shoot this guy with a 308. That was a single long. And I don't see more. There's another level 6. And we're here on this area by the way, it's kinda good to find red deer, but as I said, it's just hard to spot them with all these reeds and bushes. And I know they are there because every time I go to harvest one, I end up finding more tracks behind the bushes. That was also a single long. And as you can see, there's another track apart from the level 6. That means there was another stack that I just couldn't spot. It is a 150.5. Now I'ma try to find the other stack, the one I couldn't see. He's going right there. I'm just gonna destroy it with the 300. Oh, he stopped right before. Whatever. That's a warning call from what could be a different stack. I don't see it though. Okay, so it is right here. We only hit it once and it was a terrible shot. Really bad shot. Here we got some bison tracks. Okay, it is not too big. It is gonna be probably a level 3 or in a small level 4. Oh, that's a leucistic European bison. Well, actually not, I don't think, I don't think they can be leucistic. So that's gonna be a pie bolt, which is really cool. I don't remember exactly when was the last time I got one, but I'm sure it wasn't recently. And we actually got lucky here because the reason we came across this guy is simply because we made up a shot on the red deer. I mean, we found this guy here and the original plan was only to hunt this shore. And the reason why we end up here finding this rare bull is essentially because we had to track that red deer. So that was definitely lucky. He's coming back right there. I'ma take a few pictures. Nice. Okay, so... We're gonna go for a hard shot. Oh, we missed it. Big fail, I don't think we hit anything else. Well, it seems like we're gonna have an easy second chance. Fortunately, he's aggressive, so he's gonna stay close. Let's see. And that's it. A beautiful trophy. And there is a gold. 183.4 Piebald European Bison. The first shot was too low, that's why we missed the heart. It was actually an easy heart shot, but we messed it up. It's definitely not being our best start in terms of accuracy, but we still bagged this fantastic trophy. I had to go to my lodge to taxidermize the bison because I realized I forgot to. But anyway, we were back and I decided to continue checking this area right here. We should find more bison, red deer, wild boar, roe deer and red fox too. Well, actually here we have another bull. Level 3. That should have been good. It is a 134. We got a single long. There goes another victim for the 470. Gonna move a bit to the left to improve the angle a bit. And to get a perfect process shot. That's it, he's going down. And now he's down. It is a silver 138.8 and we got a double, double long. 
Ok, so we just finished exploring this region and now I'd like to go down here and look for more bulls around this lagoon. Then after we check this region, I would also like to go and check these cornfields right here. We should find follow the road the red fox wild boar. So I'm a fast travel to this tent and let's see. Ok, there's a bison here down there. There's a level 2. And there's also another bull which is a level 4. We're gonna shoot the level 2 first. And he's down right there. That was a hard shot. Now let's drop this level 4. Let's see. Should have been a good shot. This one is a level 2 which we dropped with a hard shot and a double long. Perfect shot. Okay, the level 4 is dead down there. And there's another bull. Alright, that's a bigger level 4. And there is a second bull, which is a level 2. Not a melee yet, but let's be honest, it could take us dozens of haunts. And that's the truth, I've spent years hunting her shelter in the end. I've never seen one. Alright, this level 4 is a 198. This one is the last level 2, which is a silver 100.7. The big boy is coming back. 80 meters. Let's see. That was definitely double long, but we can still go for a second shot because now he's aggressive. That's it. I love to use the 470 to be honest, even though it's not as versatile as the 300, I just think it's more fun to use. And especially in this map with so many close encounters. Like you see, there's another bull right here and he's very close. This is exactly what I mean, you get a lot of chances to use the 470. Let's see. That's it. And he's down. The level 4 is a 237.8. It is actually bigger than I thought it to be. And this level 2 is slightly bigger than the last one. I just found a very interesting track on this area. A max estimate Red Fox track. We might have found the track of a legendary fox. I really hope it is. Okay, the track is very old, which means that it's probably not close. There he goes. Level 8. Unfortunately, he's not a damage potential, but we're still gonna take him down. This time using the good old 243. Here we go. He's down. It is a 12.7. Not too big. That's a bison warning call. Let's see. Oh. Well, that's a massive level 4. Up to 282, that's a big level 4. That should have been a good shot. Just to be safe. And I'm sure it's at least a normal bull. Yeah, there is one. Level 3. We're gonna take the shot. That looked good. The big level 4 is a massive 254.2. That's a beast. Level 4s don't get much bigger. In the level 3 is a 178.7, not enough to be gold. Level 2 right there. Should have been good. We are finding a pretty decent amount of pulls on this region. There goes another level 3. The next level 5 cannot be too far. Let's make a good shot. And that was a hard shot. Here we got the level 2, 121. We're still exploring this area, which is absolutely awesome to find bison. And it seems to be the best one on the map, to be honest. We got a hard shot on this level 3 and a single long. Okay, I've killed a few more bulls, 6 to be exact, but they were all small, so more of the same. But there is a stack right there. Okay, he's got a fit zone. No more. It is a 168.6. I just found this track. Could be a diamond. We cannot be too far from this stack. There he goes. Level 7. We're gonna take him down with the 308. Hard shot. It is a 186.3. Just ignore the tracking distance. Okay, now that we finish exploring this region, I'm gonna fast travel to the south post. I'm gonna reset the time and we're gonna hunt some other species on this cornfield. Okay, so we got a level 2 road here around 170 meters away. We're gonna use the 243. And that was a good shot. 
It is a pretty small 57.3. Scornfield's are a great spot. Well, that one is a massive buck. It actually looks like a chummy. He's down. 42.4, they are actually getting smaller. Okay, there is a level 3 fallout here right there. Gonna use the 308. That's it. We got a nice double long. This area is usually good, let's see what we find. There's only a level 2 road here, Buck. There was 67.6 gold. The biggest road here of the hunt. Continue the hunt, I would also like to check this area up here. We could find more buys on there. Of course, after we kill this Buck. He's down right there. Okay, this guy is a 167.3, it's not even a gold even though it's a level 4. That's a new zone. And another new zone with a level 4 fallow deer. We're gonna shoot the road first. He's down. And I'ma drop the fallow deer. That's it. Oh, big buck. Let's see. Okay. Oh. My timing with this thing is completely off. I'm too used to using the 308 that I just forgot how to use this thing. The first level 2 is a 67.6 gold. The follow deer is also a gold, 199.3. And the big row deer is a 73.4. Two terrible shots, but we still managed to hit the liver. Another baby row deer. And nothing else. We need to kill these small males because right now my map is flooded with them. Okay, some bison. There's a level 3. And also a level 2. Typical herd composition. I mean, where are the fives? We're gonna shoot that one. Should have been good. Okay, there he comes. He wants to kill us. But we have the great 470. 140.5. There's another level 3. Good shot. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, the level 2. Great. We just killed 3 bulls in less than 2 minutes. Not bad at all. This 470 is pretty reliable, even at more than 100 meters. The more I use it, the more I like it, to be honest. There's a level 2 follow deer right there. Good. Her shoulder is actually full of animals, you just need to know where to find them. Where and when. That's why I recommend you to watch my hair shoulder guide. I know this map really well, so I'm sure it will help. I just found a monster. Right there. What a beast. 45.5. Big bull. Now that I finish here, we're gonna fast travel to Saupus to check these cornfields down here. These are also really good. The first thing I spot is a level 3 follow deer. That's it. It is a 161.1. Big boy. He has to die. Good shot. Well, I don't know where the actual big males are today. I mean, we're finding a lot of babies. And let's say that's not ideal. That one is bigger. But still, nothing impressive. I hope he's a gold at least. It is actually a gold, 187. That's a prison sound there. There's a 4. Okay, there are actually 3 level 4s. 3 level 4s, but none of them is really big. Not a single max estimate. The first bacon is down. There are 2 more. Too late. Okay, big road here. 75 to 87, most likely a diamond. Finally an actual big boy. I'd like to use something special on this guy. I actually just remembered that I still need to use the 16 gas soldado. And I mean on a diamond. I just reset the time before the feed time starts. And I decided to take advantage of this hunting stand. I mean it is perfect, it's very close to the zone. So it's an ideal position to wait for this guy. Okay, I waited 20 minutes. And here we have this road here. I already made a few calls, but he just keeps getting further and further. Like you see, he's just in that end. He's going away. 
doesn't make sense because he responded to color and he was getting closer but suddenly he started doing that thing. Now he's pretty much gone. We're gonna do a second attempt to get this puck with the book shot. We're already here on the zone. Now it's just a matter of knowing exactly where they are. I'm actually hitting something eating over there. That must be him in the dough. The only issue here is that the wind is blowing exactly in that direction, although I applied the sand eliminator, so hopefully the others get just close enough. I still hear them, so they haven't gone anywhere. Now let's see if that's in fact a level 3, because we haven't really spotted it. Let's see. Ok, the dough is there, in the level 3's broadside at 22 meters. We're just gonna take a shot. He's going down and I see some viral blood, so we're good. Nice picture. Now let's see what he scores. 83.6 Diamond. We got 20 hits, mainly on the right long on this great trophy. Ok, the plan was to visit some other regions, but after getting this guy, I think we should end the hunt here. We're gonna continue another day.